Well, I think, look, uh, I, I, people are arrested for other things besides freedom of expression, okay? There's, uh, there's been a lot of violence in Bahrain. Uh, I think it would be naive and not very smart to think that there's no problems, there are no criminal activities in Bahrain, including criminal activities by protesters. So some of the, some of the arrests may be justified, okay, may be appropriate. Uh, the problems that we're talking about are those arrests where people did not use violence, people did not advocate violence, people are being jailed for things they said or for trying to peacefully uh, demonstrate, peace, have peaceful assembly. Uh, those, are the, those are the problems. So I don't think we can say, oh, there have been, you know, this many hundred arrests. We have to know what we're talking about in terms of what people are arrested for, uh, number one. Number two, no matter what they're arrested for, how are they being treated, okay, in, in custody? Uh, and then thirdly, which is really what this report addresses, is how are, they, how are their cases dealt with uh, in the courts? And what this report shows is that the people who should not be in jail, uh, people who are in jail because of things they said, they're still in jail, they're still arresting people and putting them in jail for these kind of offenses. And meanwhile, the people who, are, uh, who have been uh, actually convicted in court or charged in court with serious crimes like murder uh, are going free. And it's really the failure of the justice system to provide justice is really what we're talking about here. The, the, to take the case of the 13, I think broadly speaking we can say some of them are human rights defenders, but they are in jail for their political activism, for their political speech, and for their, you know, uh, mobilization in the protests and so forth. That, that's why they're in jail. Now, they should not be in jail for this, right? These are totally legitimate, these should be totally legitimate activities. Um, and that's, that's really the core of the, the problem, I think, in, in Bahrain today. And, you know, in addition, uh, you do have people whose main work continues to be human rights activism who have felt uh, like they have to leave the country. They can't stay, uh, they cannot safely stay uh, in Bahrain. And this is a great tragedy. Is it the same case with Nabir Rajab, who has been just released? has been arrested and spent yeah. two years. Yeah, yeah. No, Nabil Rajab should, it's one of the cases we look at in this report. And it's very clear to us that Nabil Rajab should never have been arrested, never should have been convicted at all. So we're very glad that he's now out of jail. Uh, but he should not have had to spend two years in prison uh, for peacefully uh, demonstrating for democracy.